Oh man, it's windy over here. I don't think you can hear me because of the wind, but we'll try. <clears throat> Cause I can't scream or anything. Well, I can. But... <sighs> A person snuck into the <laughs> child uh, playground area in the park. Yeah. Parent and the kid, whatever. Not gonna lie, I might have done the same thing. <laughs> it depends. But, uh, oh man, I love being here, but it's so windy and it's hard to, 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 to talk over the wind and I'm very light spoken. So, <laughs> here we go. Okay, it's not windy here. Not really, not really. It's chilly now. I don't like this. There's no sun today. Not the sun, but. Sadly, uh, covered up there. I don't know. So, how's everyone doing? Um, anyone getting back to work? I heard a lot of people are going back to work. Not me! I have unemployment. <laughs> I got unemployment. Man, I'm just stacking my money right now, to be honest. Um, yep. I don't know if I have an angel or something, because damn. Every time I think I'm like about to die in the street, <laughs> like be homeless or um, broke or without a job or any kind of way of making money, I end up making money. So I don't like the the the, the sadistic circle that I'm put in because <clears throat> once once I, once things start getting good, they get bad again. So I'm, I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. What's up with that? Right? You know, like, <laughs> no, there's no consistency in the outside of my world, it seems. And, uh, and I like to blame myself saying I'm inconsistent, but in reality, there's a lot of inconsistencies out in where I'm at. I don't know, like, in my reality. <laughs> you know, it's weird. So... Every day it's different, huh? The water just looks dark and dirty today and, you know, because of the weather. <sighs> Isn't that life though? Like, how can we really be consistent? Think about it. Nature in, in general is inconsistent. So, why is everyone trying to be perfect and like, I think everyone's just like <clears throat> trying to be robotic more than actually natural and and human, <laughs> you know, like, oh, it has to be this way, like, oh, schedule today, get up, make coffee, um, shower, whatever, you know, step by step by step, have to follow each step perfectly or, or chaos in their world, it seems like. But my world is always chaos, and in reality, that's how nature is. It's chaos. There's no consistency in life, people. Sorry to break it to y'all. Okay, I want to make sure I'm recording. I only got 20 minutes. My phone is allowing 20 minutes today of recording. Great. <laughs> that's not long enough. Because I got to delete... Um, my videos and pictures and things and god i'm always deleting stuff i hate that i just want everything there why i have to delete you know i back up everything but even that even my backups are full so can't win anyway um so yeah life in general and na in nature is inconsistent so why is everyone trying to be perfect and robotic and just not, it's not natural is what it is. So I, I, you know, some people are going nuts right now because there's a break in their schedule and their routines. Okay, routines, there you go. Once you start on a routine, eventually 
you don't it's so easy for you to just to continue on the routine because it's like an automatic response and um you, you you're not using your mind at all you're just following through what you're programming you programmed yourself like a, like a computer so yeah that's why everyone a lot of people seem like robotic and just not in inhuman you know you gotta you gotta find a balance really um because our society runs that way where you have to be programmed and uh follow schedule and routine i understand that that's how we're running our societies but we need to have a balance <clears throat> between that and just being free with you being human being with nature being like nature you know um freeing your mind up getting yourself out of a pre-programmed um schedule daily that you just follow and you don't even have to think about it or feel anything you know there's so many people that don't feel anything anymore and they don't think they just do because you know they program that way i think this is a good time right now for people to release themselves from the um <clears throat> kind of like a prison you know a lot of people are imprisoned in their own minds ah, i stepped on i don't know <sighs> okay so those are my thoughts on that um yeah so uh, don't be so hard on yourself you know because we can't be perfect and i used to be like that where <clears throat> Let me tell you, I had to spend at least two hours getting ready in the morning just to go to the store outside. That's it. Like, if I had to go outside for anything, even like mail, depending on where I lived at, I'd have to get ready and dressed and makeup and everything. And, uh,. It was too much. It was like, it, it, even when I did all of that and try to be perfect, um, I, when I try to be perfect is when I was the most insecure and paranoid and like, oh my God, there's a hair out of place and um, people are gonna notice that and oh my God, I'm gonna be humiliated. But I was very narcissistic, okay? Uh, and I do not have the disorder. I have said I'm narcissistic, but not so much anymore. As I grow, you know, you, you grow, like you feel yourself change. I don't think the narcissist personality people, the sort of people actually feel that. Like everything's the same, like from when they're, they're say 14 to when they're 35. Their inner, you know, the inner landscape, their inside, their um, knowledge about things is just stunted all the way throughout their lives. Um, that's sad if you think about it. It's what I had to see growing up. It's not, it's not, it's not nice, you know, to see grow a grown man. Cause I'm pretty sure my dad has the uh, the actual disorder. Um, <clears throat> and I already know my mom has it. I already know for sure. Um, and then my husband. And I see my husband. He just, yeah, oh, he got more money and all that. Or whatever. Cars. But he's just like deteriorating, it seems, inside. You know? And, um, ah, I don't have that much time. Um, so... He thinks he has like an advantage over me, but really he does not. He really does not. He's just programmed. He's a machine. And uh, it's creepy. It was really creepy when you realize what the, the person you've been with has a different, has a whole different, 
are inside than you. Like things are going on in him that aren't going on in me and vice versa. And we just cannot relate to each other. <sighs> when I was younger with him, because I met him when I was, what, 17? So yeah, I was a kid. And kids, we're in that stage where you're very highly, a lot of us are highly narcissistic, right? We don't have the disorder because if we had the disorder, we'd still be like that at 30, 40, whatever, you know? So, he never grew up. I, I found myself changing and growing and being in love with him. And, you know, like, you had that first stage where you're you're infatuated with a person and then you grow to love them and it's you know you know what i'm talking about normal people let's say so-called normal um you can feel it you can feel you're changing and you can feel you're growing and it, and it gives you more confidence because you because because life is just not this consistent straight line anymore it's just like you're moving up and you can feel yourself moving up. And I don't think they know. I mean, I don't think they ever move up. They're just like on that straight line throughout life. And, uh, you know, emotionally. And it's sad to think about it. But it, it helps me feel better because um, even though I am deeply, deeply betrayed and uh, heartbroken over what has happened, what resulted in my marriage and um uh it's i have spent many years very down and depressed um suicidal and i also went to the hospital it was horrible man i just i was losing my mind like i didn't know how to process all of that pain which i learned how to do now and um that's how I know I'm not. And then I think, well, maybe I'm the narcissist disorder person here. But then I'm not because I feel myself changing, growing, um, adapting to, uh, you know, the things that I learn about. And I take it in and I use it in my life. So, you know, I apply it to my life. So I can't be a narcissist, right? So, so yeah, I really like that. It makes me feel better about myself because my whole life is not going to just go in a straight line until my death, like theirs. And, and it, it helps me to feel um, optimistic and hopeful that, uh, you know, like throughout my life there's going to be more to come, like there's more to learn and there's more to... Um, more of me to develop right so it's not just this boring that's why they're bored wow these birds are loud aren't they but i love them i love the sound of nature um so there's more of me to develop that's exciting to know you know like if you're uh if you're disordered like that they have no anticipation for any change at all in their life so they just stay 17 or whatever age it is, you know, it's not, there's no real number. It's just that adolescent mind, they stay that way forever. And I've seen this with my own eyes from my own father that's, you know, in his, what, 70s now. You can see it. There's no growth, um, no learning, no, no advancement, nothing. And I know that's not me, so I know for sure I'm not that, okay? Narcissistic traits are different than being the personality disordered person. It's really different, and it's not a joke. It's, it's very sad, you know, but, and then you can't even help them. That's the thing that bothers me, because I always want to help somebody or, you know, help fix themselves. So we can be kind of on the same level, but um, I mean, my ex is just showing that that way that he talks, that he just he sounds like a juvenile, 
delinquent. He's 30, 30 some years old. You don't think and say the same things that you, you did when he was 16 years old. You know? So. So don't feel bad. If you really left or, or someone like that left you, uh, take it as a, um, a way to grow yourself and to have pity. If anything, have pity for them because, you know, they didn't choose that, right? They didn't choose that. You can feel bad for them, but at a distance because you can't, you, you can't make any difference, you know? Um, <clears throat> and you're going to get exhausted and drained and um, <clears throat> it's going to be bad for you. It's going to be bad. And I stop doing that now. Thank God. I am grateful that I'm able to maintain some kind of sanity because uh, the kinds of betrayal that I have experienced drove me to like want to kill myself and be... And I'm just, I'm just alone because of the people that are around me. All of them are like that. Most, not all, but you recognize it. <clears throat> and so they're always, and they're always going to hate you because they can't be you. And that's not an, that's not like a, oh, envy me kind of statement. I mean, they really can't understand what it's like to be human human i mean well they're human but they're in a stage that is, is, is unproductive and and just stuck it's terrible i mean i've been through so much trauma and pain in my life and i'm not stuck i'm so grateful that i'm not that person like them and i'm not sure how some people get that and some people don't, you know? I mean, I ended up getting, huh, I gotta check because I have no time yet. I ended up getting a disorder from all of the drama and the, the abuse, but that's why a borderline personality is not a narcissistic personality disorder. It's not the same. I'm, it's coming from my own experience. Either that or I really don't have the damn thing. Which I definitely do. So, you know, and it's hard to recover from any any kind of disorder. It's not really possible. You could manage it, but we're not the same, okay? The borderline is not like the narcissist. We have similar pains and, and, and traumas. But we we develop differently, you know. And I'm not saying my what I have is any better than what they have, but I'm able to grow from it and heal myself. I think. I mean, that's what I've uh, noticed about myself. So it's a good thing, positive. Or maybe I'm just one of the the one out of a million that actually can recover from this kind of death sentence disorder, you know. I don't know for sure, but I don't know. Everything's di everyone's different really. So I gotta go um I'm gonna end this video because my phone won't allow me to go past twenty one minutes because I gotta delete and free up space so i'll do that anyway um i just wanted to check in and i uh, hope everyone's doing good and staying safe and you know uh, if you could please comment or like the video i'd appreciate that and uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so and um ring the bell or hit the bell whatever <laughs> So you can get updates. Alright, so take care now. Thank you, bye.